Hello everyone. If you're interested in how I'm going to use the stack of receipts to budget, and I'm so going to be using my budget uh, planner, stay tuned and watch my video that's coming up. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead. Today's video, I'm going to be tracking all my receipts and watching my spending. Uh, as you can see, I'm a I'm going to go into my monthly uh, planner. Also, my budget planner because I got it mixed. As they, Some people call this the Franken plan, which means you have different planners in here. So, I put, I'm using the budget extension pack. So, with this, I'm going to go in and use this page. To record all my receipts these are um, this is money that I have spent from my cash envelopes too and if some people wonder well if you have money already allowance for the cash envelopes why would you track it to me and this is the way it helps me it gives me a visual too to see what I'm spending my money on I know once the money's gone out the cash envelopes it's gone I don't have any more to spend out that envelope However, I do like to go back and kind of review how much I'm spending. Uh, some purchases, this allows me an opportunity to see if some purchase could have been uh, not purchased. Hope that made some sense. Basically, I'm trying to say is that when I'm recording my spending, it'll make me think twice next time, did I really need to make this purchase? All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, so the first receipt that I'm going to review is Westwood Cinema. And as you can see, we went to Kelsey and I went to go see a, a Medea family funeral. And this was March 9th. And my dates are not going to be in order. So I, I do apologize in advance. And it was two tickets purchased and it was $12. And I'm just going to put Westwood Cinema. And also in this category, it would say, um, you can also use, um, check off if you use cash, credit, debit, need, or if it was a want. So basically, um, I'm not going to worry about these columns right here. For this time anyways. Um, the next receipt was Walmart. And I spent $25.22 Walmart, and it was on March 10th. Walmart, and then 3 10 19 And then Walmart again, March 6th. It was, I spent $7.50. And then uh, I had to get Bella Puffy Pads. So that was $24.29. And that was also on March 6th. And you wonder why I have so many receipts from the same day in places because I was using cash envelopes for different categories. This one again is March 6th. And I hope you can see, yeah. And again, it was $19.38. And both was Walmart. Um, H-E-B was March 3rd, um, $12.86, and this was at H-E-B, and this was pet food too, so, and sometimes I do put to the side what I spent it on. 
which is beneficial so it'll help me know what i'm spending my money on okay this was at walmart and walmart uh i got this yesterday 3.11.19 and i spent 48 dollars and 55 cents at walmart and basically, I bought like several boxes of catfish fillets. I bought like some salad mushrooms, but actually Walmart had catfish fillets. Um, Y'all can see. Catfish fillets for $5 a box, and it was the four pound boxes. So yes, you heard me right. Walmart have catfish fillets, the four pound boxes for $5. Uh, so the total I spent was forty eight fifty five. I did get one of my friends one box because she asked me to pick her up box, one box. So you'll see nine boxes on here, but actually I only got Hi eight Hi guys, boxes. this is just a reminder. Uh, if you have not done so, go ahead and click that little red subscribe button to your right hand side right there. If you're already subscribed to my channel, then it will be grayed out. Thank you. The next one is ooh, Walmart again. 311.19 purchased some flowers so the total was five dollars and 27 cents and these were fresh flowers if you're wondering um march 2nd march 2nd i purchased fuel and it was for 39 dollars and this is at sam's club Sam's Club and put fuel. And this was in my Aspen. That's the reason it was so much. Because my Aspen, my SUV holds like 20 gallons. Uh, this receipt is from Aldi's. And I just love the store for certain items. Uh, 310. Uh, one, nine. And I bought some insulated bags too. I had a couple different receipts. Bought, bought insulated bags and it was two dollars and eighty nine cents uh sam's club uh, this was on march 2nd and it was okay this is going to be a little bit tricky because uh, Sam's had a promotion where if you got a, a new membership, uh, you spent $45 for the membership, but you technically got that $45 back. So I used that $45 right here. So that's where it says cash tenant. That was actually a gift card. So I still spent $53. And I'm going to go ahead and count that. Uh, count the full total because... The $45 was replaced from the envelope I took it from. So I still end up spending $53. Basically, the way it is is that you get your $45 back. So it's just like you can get free membership. Sam's Club. Okay, this is discount tire. I filled it down. So as you can see, I had to get a tire. In tire, it was eleven dollars. And when did I get this tire? Let's see. Put that out the way because I have some personal information on here. March fifth. And if you're wondering how I got a brand new tire for eleven dollars, <laughs> it's because I had the road hazard plan, and my tire ran over something and it punctured my tire, and they could not fix it, so I got a new tire. Okay, Dillard's. Uh, this is Kelsey. No, this is February, so that doesn't count. Sorry, I don't know how that got it mixed in there. Okay, so here go another Dillard's, and Dillard's had a good sale this month. So um, I bought some items that we needed, clothes-wise, and I spent a total of eighty-nine dollars and forty-four cents. Dillard's. 
And before I go to the next receipt, if you sit down and just look, this is a lot of money I have spent. And then it's really making me wonder, should I have spent all this money? That's what I'm saying. When you write down all the amounts you spend, it makes you think twice. Like, was all these purchases necessary? Because, I mean, it looks like just roughly probably one, two, probably a good $350 already, if not a little bit more. Probably a little bit more. So, uh, this was another Walmart purchase, and this was on March 10th. And Walmart had dog food, canned uh, wet food for dogs on sale for 25 cents a can. So I spent $17.32. And I'm going to put Pat over there. And I'm going to slow down so I can make sure my hand is a little bit better for you. American Eagle. Uh, oh, wow. Sorry about all this. Trying to get it all together. So American Eagle, I spent $47.52. American Eagle. Okay. Make sure I and this was uh some of Williams, my son's B Day gift, birthday gift. And that was three, ten, one, nine. Chinese Buffet in Brenham. This is one of my favorite spots. I love to go here. Um, and I purchased this on three, one, one, nine. And it was eight dollars and sixty cents. Okay, we have Walmart. Uh, they had men's polo shirts, the stretchable kind that was normally like $8.94. And I got three of those. So that was $6.50. And I got that on the 10th. Uh, $6.50. Walmart. Okay, now this is Aldi's. Aldi's. I'm sorry. I probably, I'm probably not pronouncing it right. I say Aldi's, but some people say Aldi's. So, uh, it was March 10th. And I spent $61.48 for all this. And this is a quite a bit of stuff for $61.48. And it's all groceries. Okay, Sonic Drive-In, uh, spent $5.67. Sonic. And this was also March 10th. Walmart again, I spent $17.67. On uh, health care stuff. Walmart. Okay, so um, HEB on three, three. One nine. I spent fifty one dollars and seventy eight cents. That's H E P grocery. I'm telling you, all these numbers are making me kind of sick. So I guarantee you, what I'm gonna think twice for the remaining of the month when I spend money because it's like some of this probably could have been avoided. Uh, that's why I say. My channel is basically real. I mean, I'm not going to lie to anybody. I do make mistakes. I'm not perfect. So Dollar Tree, and I love Dollar Tree to get like balloons and stuff 
for birthday parties, birthdays. So and this basically was what I purchased this day. One of my staff had a, a birthday and we had decorated her office and stuff Monday, Monday morning. Okay, then I have the 99 cent store and I love the 99 cent store as well. And we just got a couple items on there. We only spent $4.33. And I know I shouldn't just say only because money is money. And that $4 possibly could have went to somewhere else. And then um, I went to King Dollar on 3919 and purchased like things like batteries and stuff and a couple household products. Dollar. All right, guys. So we have wrapped all this up. And as you can see, I spent a quite a bit of money. And you know, I'm just going to go ahead real quick and just calculate how much I have spent unknowingly. 25.22. Nineteen thirty-eight, twelve eighty-six, forty-eight fifty-five, five twenty-seven, thirty-nine dollars, two dollars and eighty-nine cents, fifty-three dollars and twenty-seven cents, eleven dollars, eighty-nine dollars. Forty-four cents, seventeen dollars and thirty-two cents, forty-seven dollars and fifty-two cents, eight dollars and sixty cents, fifty. And the grand total, as y'all already said before, oh, no, you don't. Let's see, $596. Oh, my gosh. So I'm just going to write the total over here. $596.24. Whoa. And this is um, just March 12th. 2019 and I already spent $596.24 so that's why I'm telling you that by me spending even though I have it uh, budgeted out in my cash envelopes this gonna get this right here when you also not only use the cash envelopes but write it out it makes you like reconsider these purchases meaning like next time I probably I mean, I would think twice because I did not realize I already spent $600. That's a lot of money. So, I hope my ben my uh, video helped you in some form or fashion. Uh, I would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.